Hello again, we are still in week five in the virtual classroom. This video is for Mac users only. If you would like to watch it anyway, just for educational purposes, even if you're not on the Mac, that's fine. But this is just for Mac users to let you guys know exactly what the differences are between the two cases, because there's really only two. Uh, it's very, very subtle. Um, so I'm going to talk about that at the beginning here, and then I'm going to show you what's going on with step two and why that may or may not have turned out differently for you. It depends on your version of Excel that you're running. Uh, this is an optional video. So we're going to make this one really short. Uh, to start with, I have both sets of instructions up here. And you'll see if we start at the top, there is a subtle difference with the support files. So the expectation here for Mac users is that you've watched the main video and I'm going to repost the main video and identify that there is this additional video when you get to step two. Um, the other difference really is kind of a non-event. For some reason, the Word version has this tools file that's basically just an information file that provides definitions for stuff that's in the actual case. It, it does nothing more than that. There's no other place that it's used in the case. Um, the only other mention of the tools word is when it, we use the quick analysis tool. So for some reason, the Mac case doesn't have that. doesn't matter. Okay, just wanted you guys to know about that. So if you see that at the beginning and you're wondering why you're missing that one file, that is why. Um, you will also notice that the link is going to be different for the file name that you're going to, like the files are slightly different. And as I instructed you in the PC video, you don't want to change the names for those. Uh, so there is that one less file. Then the only other difference is when you get down here to step two. And step two, when you look at it for each version, uh, PC versus Mac, looks almost identical. It's very, very close. Um, what's happening to not every user on the Mac, but most of them, is when they go and try to import it the way I do it in my PC video, it keeps importing not as an already formatted table. So what I mean by that is I'm making a reference to something we're going to learn up in week eight, where you have a set of data in columns or whatever, and, and you format it as an Excel table. I'm already at step two at the point where I've gotten the file name in here. So the path for it, you don't need that stuff in front of it. And we click OK, and it goes to look for the information in the file. And even from here, it's going to look a bit different. And I've been trying all week to get a Mac to record this video on. Two people lent me their Macs, and there's no software on them. And I couldn't get access to the software to move it to a computer to do screen capture with the software I wanted. So I'm doing this on a PC, but I'm going to show you what to do if you get the table and it ends up not being a formatted table, which means you can't change the design. You can't do a bunch of the stuff right after step two. So I'm going to import this like I did in my video because there, I can't seem to find a way on a PC to not have it come in as a table. Um, we're going to put it in G12. And as soon as I put it in here, I'm going to make it not a table. So what you likely have on your Mac is something like this. I'm going to see how I have this design tab. You probably don't have that because it's not a table. So I'm going to make this not a table by converting to range. You don't have to do this, okay? I'm showing you what, just wait till I get there. So on your Mac, you probably have something like this that's not even formatted. It's probably just the data. And it came in there and it probably went into columns. You were probably able to do that much, but it's sitting here like this. So if you're a Mac user and that's what happened to you and it did not format as a table, meaning you can't click on this and get that design tab and change the style, you want to highlight from here over to here all of the information that was imported in that would be part of this non-table formatting. I'm doing hand quotes right now. You can't see me. And the way to take a set of data that's set up like this and turn it into an Excel table, which is just literally, you're not inserting a table, you're taking the data that's already there and formatting it as a table, is to go to Insert and go Table. So Insert Table with the data highlighted, or you can highlight it after, and that's what you want highlighted. You click OK, and now you will be able to go and complete the rest of the steps, the next of which would be uh, this is the Mac version. So it says import this as a table. For some reason, uh, some students on Macs were able to find how to do it as a table, but I had about four or five students across the online sections that just didn't seem to have that option. So you have to turn it into a table like I just did. And then 
it, and apparently it makes it its own sheet because I based on part B here, it must make it its own sheet. So you have to take it from the new worksheet and put it back into a separate one. So I don't know if you're going to be able to copy right into G12. So I'm hoping you're watching this whole thing because I'm kind of doing this on the fly because I wasn't able to do this on a Mac. And then finally, you can format that as um, turquoise table style light nine. Okay, my table. So it is assuming that you're going to have to make it a table and nobody taught you that. So I, that's how easy it is. You literally highlight the data, turn it into a table. The other step is going to be that it's, it, it appears that it's making it its own worksheet. This is the only week this is going to happen, by the way. I apologize that I don't have a Mac to demo this for you on, but most Mac users are quite savvy. You'll be able to just copy the information, get it into, an, into the existing worksheet where it should be, then make it a table. Um, and then you'll be able to do all this other stuff just like I did it in the video, including the table style light nine, which I will do right now. So if I'm clicking on the table and I've made it a table, I should have the design tab and I can go into uh, light nine, which 11, it's right here, table style light nine. And then you're up and running to move on to the rest of the steps and there shouldn't be any differences in the rest of the steps that would stump you or stop you from com completing this case and getting everything correct. Sorry about the differences. I hope this supplemental video helps get you through that, that one rough step, step number two. If you have any questions, your professor will be able to help you out.